Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Cancer. So this is going to be your 2024 predictions for the first three months. Okay, let's see what's going to show up for you. If you want to have a look at your in-depth 2024 predictions, that link will be in the description box below for you guys. You can have a look at it. And in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended of this reading. Where I will have a look at your person's energy in depth and your blessings and challenges for the next three months. Let's see. And in this reading, I'm going to be covering your financial situation, soul messages, tarot messages, love messages, all of that. So we're getting fly, a period of ill health and depression. Okay. Star, guaranteed success. So you do need to take care of your health in the next three months, but I do feel like um, there's also something you're getting successful at, um, cancer, okay? You're achieving success in something. We have moon changes in your life. Throne position of authority. I do see some of you getting promoted at your work. Um, there are going to be a lot of... Also, I'm seeing here, you know, emotional ups and downs in the next three months. But mainly I see some sort of a promotion here or like some sort of work being rewarded. Okay, cup, you should accept valid criticism. There could be somebody who's going to criticize you for, for some something that you've done. Um, it may even trigger you. Uh, but yeah, you're being told here to stand your ground no matter what. Some of you maybe pray or you meditate. And I do feel like you have spiritual guidance. Um, or there's also like some of you could be spiritual or religious. If you're worried about something right now, I see that this matter is going to get resolved. You're getting the whale card, which says great worry over nothing. So don't stress too much about something. I do feel like there could be a temporary problem you could deal with. But like I said, it's a temporary problem. And I do see you overcoming something as well. Um, yeah. See, I just said it. This card says... Things will not always be this way and a change is coming. I do feel like there are big changes that are coming in for you. Big changes. Um, there's this sense of evolution. The caterpillar, you know, then evolves into a butterfly. So I do feel like um, there's a sense of evolution here. And, you know, it's like... I feel like um, cancer, the next chapter of your life, it has something to do with a better you. You know, a better version of yourself. Uh, I'm also seeing better finances, just a better situation overall. One thing you do need to be careful of is your mental health. Um, and you're getting the star card, which says guaranteed success. Give me one more. Someone is extremely stubborn and un unwilling to change. There could be someone here who's not really... Um, it's like, you know, somebody who who is a friend or a lover and you always, you know, address your concerns with them, but then they never listen to you. You know, it's not your job to change this person. Maybe some of you are like that in your relationships. You you try to fix the person, okay? misunderstanding mm -hmm. 
can be it all good fortune. Nice, nice, nice. So when it comes to your money situation, I see good changes in your money. I see good fortune coming your way for those of you look for those of you looking for a new job or some sort of a career change, it's going to be a very positive change for you. I do feel like your work is going to be highlighted. You're going to be outshining other people. You're going to be in the position of authority. Some of you maybe have your own business or something about e-commerce, okay? But I do feel like there could be an understanding between you and someone else. Misunderstanding, sorry. Um... And it's like this is somebody who's trying to pick fault in your work just because they're bringing in that negative energy because you're getting the cup and the wall together. Uh, criticism and misunderstanding. Um, I feel like it could be between you and a friend or somebody, someone close to you. Um, give me one more card on this. I feel like some of you are going to be leaving a boring situation behind in your life. Maybe there is a situation in love or something like that that is really boring for you. Um, someone who you just feel like things are not growing with them, you're going to leave them behind. Okay. But generally, I feel like when it comes to you, it's it's like the changes are very nice um, and good things to look forward to. And, you know, this is reminding me of an upgrade, like there's some sort of an upgrade here. Give me messages for cancer, please. Give me messages for cancer, please. What are you having a hard time accepting? In the next three months, you should work on accepting something, cancer. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Maybe there is something you're trying to change, but you're being told here that maybe this is something that's not even in your control. So, you know, trying to change it is really not going to do, do anything. You can only change yourself, friendship. There's something here about a friend of yours. Like, there is going to be, like, some sort of an argument between you and a friend of yours. Like, I don't mean to be, you know, I don't mean to just say that for the sake of it, but you're getting the friendship card. And before that, you also got, you know, some sort of an interaction with someone. It's like, you know, we have friends around us who are, who always give us backhanded compliments. Is that kind of an energy? And if you have a person like this in your life, mm, maybe they need to go. Mm-hmm. I do feel like you're being told here to open yourself up to love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things and acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So spirit is definitely telling you to open up to love, to remain positive. Um, okay, your affirmation is, I'm open to love and blessings that are coming my way. I am open to love and blessings that are coming my way. So I want you to write it down somewhere. Write it in the comments. That's your affirmation. I feel like maybe you tend to get a negative mindset about things or it's like, I don't know what exactly that is, but it's almost like something bad happens and then you're stuck on it for weeks. Don't let that happen to you. You're only going to be wasting your time over, you know, like this. It's very frivolous. Okay, whatever this is. All right, let's have a look at your energies for the next three months, Cancer. I 
I heard don't put all your eggs in one basket. Again, three of cups. You know, three of cups is a card of friendship. Literally. It's in the reverse. And friendship card is here. Some of you need to reevaluate your friendships. The kind of people you're associating yourself with. Um, so I'm getting here, Cancer, that... Well, this is nice. Like, I feel like most of these changes that are coming in your life, they are positive. Um, okay, there's a lot of assessment and re-evaluation of things going on. I do see you disappointed in someone, but I also see you giving up. I see someone coming towards you. King of Cups here is with the love card. So someone is going to be expressing their love. This person is going to be very passionate, understanding. This person could be a fellow water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I do see here that love is coming your way, Cancer. Um, someone here who truly cares about you. <laughs> But it's going to happen in March, maybe, or towards the end of February. Because before that, I see a lot of things happening. I also see you feeling lost. But then it's like a door is closing. It's making you realize things. It's also giving you a lot more patience and strength to move forward. Now, whoever this person is that I see you meeting in the next three months, or someone you're romantically involved with, I feel like this is going to happen. Um... Almost like all of a sudden, something's going to happen. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, or you may have these placements in your chart. Scorpio energy is here too. I see you finding your own way. Uh, your challenge here is to get over some sort of a hurtful situation or a cycle. If there is a cycle in your life that keeps continuing, whether it involves people or your own habits, that cycle needs to end. It's like finally moving forward kind of an energy that I'm getting from this. Finally moving forward. I see here some of you are going to be investing your money in a business with the seven of pentacles. Your advice here is the ace of wands reverse, six of cups and the queen of wands reverse. It's telling you to, you know, have fun. Don't take things too seriously. Um, because I do see your spirit being lost, like feeling like a lost spirit, feeling like nothing is making you happy, even though I feel like financially you're going to be doing good, but there are a lot of emotional ups and downs that I see for you. Um, your advice here is to also focus on something creative or getting in touch with that childlike energy, you know, just having fun. Um, maybe watching a movie that you used to watch as a child, you know, um, or revisiting something, um, a hobby, a passion of yours. It's like finding yourself again. Your advice here is to work on your self-confidence in the next three months as well. And don't put too much trust in like someone else, especially if it's a friend but you you get negative vibes from them. I do feel like it's also going to teach you to accept a loss because here in this row, I see a loss. But it's not permanent because then there is a loss and there you're getting love again. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be like 
Hmm. Quite a lot of things are happening here. Cancer. Let's see what's your person's energy. What's your person's energy? Let's see. Justice and the Tower. This person could be a Libra or a Scorpio. I think here someone is realizing things. For some of you, like there's also, I, I don't know, this is not for everybody, but I see a divorce here. Someone's contemplating an ending. Whether that involves a relationship that was serious and official or just like something, someone you were dealing with. Wheel of Fortune. Mm, this is very nice, actually, because I feel like Wheel of Fortune is a good sign with the justice. And the tower is giving in that sudden element, okay? I do feel like there's love coming your way. Wheel of Fortune is a very good card to get when it comes to love and, you know, predictions in love because it signifies good time, a change, but change for the better. So the person coming towards you, their feelings for you, how they view you, actions they plan on taking, advice and future outcome. This is something I'm going to have a look at in your extended overall energy for who's coming towards you. Two of cups. See, I could see Empress. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Cancer. There is love coming your way. And it's like, I'm telling you, someone here is serious about you. Look at this two of cups um, along with this card, you know. So I'm going to have a look at these energies in the extended. Let's see um, what messages want to show up for you in your financial situation. What about money or career predictions for cancer in the next three months? Next three months. The cancer please. Next three months for cancer, please. Science. Some of you could be a doctor or, you know, something. I, I see you doing research on maybe something as well um, connected to your money situation. Be careful when spending money online or giving someone your card information. Yeah, I do see that. A lot of you are entrepreneurs, okay, or you are going to be. I see like for those of you who have, yeah, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God, Cancer. This has to be one of the best readings I have seen. Yeah, some of you are artists or you do some creative work. Um, I am telling you, Cancer, you, what you don't see coming is really shocking because I really feel like this is a part of your destiny. I mean, you're going to be growing in your financial situation. And that is something I was picking up on ever since I started your read. I could see that, you know, cancer is going to be doing good financially. And so, you know, if you're thinking about investing, starting something new, this is a great time to do that. You're definitely going to see um, good changes in your money especially if you have a business online or something like that. Anyway, that's about it. Or you're an artist. That's about it. Those were the messages that showed up for you, Cancer. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a look at the extended for your person's energy as well as 
your blessings and challenges for the next three months. Um, so do have a look at it. It will be linked below as well as your 2024 predictions. And I'll see you guys next time.